this is a family friendly episode, so I can't say too much, but he went into a lot of like details about um, his extracurricular activities with his exes. DM me on Instagram, I'll fill you in. Salam, my name is Maha. Hi guys, my name is Wafika. Salam, my name is Heidi. Salam alaikum, my name is Swade. I'm 26, I'm from Queens, and I'm on Muzz. I'm here with Muzz to talk about what halal dating is like in New York. And how do I find halal dating in New York City? It's all right. As a Muslim woman in New York, I find halal dating to be difficult. I feel like I really got to seek it out using apps. Halal dating is pretty hard. I feel like it's really tough out here. I feel like a lot of us just know each other um, and we have like really busy lives. So it's very hard for us to connect. Um, I try to do the whole meet cute thing. I love a good meet cute. So I try to, you know, put myself in places where that could happen. Not like I'm actively going out for it, but like if it happens, it happens. That's the whole point of a meet cute. Uh, my favorite halal spot for a date, I actually was taken by a date from Mars. My favorite halal first date spot? Well, I'm gonna gatekeep my actual number one, but my number two... is uh, probably a simple restaurant with a nice dinner. He took me and he planned everything out uh, to an opera cafe. It's in Brooklyn and it's pretty nice and the vibe and it's family oriented. It's really nice out there. Gotta go with Top Thai. Super easy, crowd favorite. The food is good, the vibes are good, and there's a lot of walking stuff you can do after. Have it be in an area where you can walk around and explore so you have that option in case if you want to continue the date. Um, and if you don't want to, then you can just like end it and, and dip. My worst halal date is a guy who lied about his height. So I met up with this person, things were going good, we're having great conversation, and then conversation just kind of went into our past a little bit. I was trying to be romantic, so I took him out to dinner in a dimly lit place, and that is just not a good place to have a conversation. It's so unviable. We were just sitting there, clink, clink. So this is a family-friendly episode, so I can't say too much, but he went into a lot of like details about um, his extracurricular activities with his exes. DM me on Instagram, I'll fill you in. I didn't notice him because he looks totally different. And he was like, hey, it's me. I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, let's go and stuff. And I had other friends coming later at night. Then I was like, oh, my dad needs me to go back now. So I'm sorry. I felt like he was struggling to like take out his wallet to pay for the dinner. <laughs> And like, you know, that sort of like slow motion, you know, gesture that makes you feel like you need to pay for your own dinner. Is Muslim love in New York City like the rom-coms? Um, I feel like it's not. I feel like New York City and love like has like a bad reputation. No, <laughs> New York City's not the heart of rom-coms for Muslims. It may not be the sex in the city, find your love at a random whatever, whatever, and get married the next day. As Muslims though, that happens too. But, <laughs> but it can be. I just think, I, I think there's a lot more like logistical issues that happen. Even like regular love here in New York City is not like the movies, it's just like filming stuff. But, and it's hard to find love in New York City. It's very hard. <laughs> I haven't found love in it, so that's why. <laughs> what would I change about the dating scene in like New York City? So I feel like I, people need to change their understanding of dating um, and what it means to be a Muslim and looking for that person. The dating, they're serious about it, not here to play around because sometimes people are dating because uh, they're bored or looking for, you know, something to do. They have to start dating after 25. I think the whole one at a time thing. If you're really serious about finding someone, you need to pull back from your other activities, pull back from work a little bit, and just take that time to spend time with people and getting to know people um, and just being serious about the process. Some people, like, they actually actively talk to multiple people at a time. And they'll be like, this is the good thing about this person, and this is a good thing about this person, and this is a good thing about this person. And you always have grass is greener syndrome. I think it's a bit easier in New York City to date from, uh, for a Muslim. Uh, because there are so many different ethnicities and backgrounds. I don't think that it's easier for New York Muslims to connect and meet each other. Everyone is like 
really busy uh, on a fast pace and he they want or she wants to finish whatever she needs to finish and go back home to repeat the same thing the next day and we just don't have the time and we're just so independent we're not willing to meet each other halfway and compromise i feel like um people in other states find it easier to connect with each other it's just bigger and there's more people and you get more chances and it's actually funny, you will also still see those same people in the streets in, a, in, in like 8 million, 10 million, I don't even know how many people are actually in New York City. You will still, you will still see people you talk to in the streets. Maybe 35 and they still want to get married about this age. So, and they are all like play around when they are younger. So it's really hard to find. One thing I love about New York is you could walk downstairs and you could get into shenanigans. You can't do that in a suburb. You got to get into a car to get into some shenanigans. You can find everything in here. Like you can find different foods. It's always busy. It doesn't like, the city literally never sleeps. So there's uh, a lot of people in the area um, and you can always like find somebody to connect with. The one thing I love about New York is the vibes that you can only feel in New York. The streets are so lively. People are always um, energetic. Even when it's cold outside, you see people walking around happy and uh, you just feel joy, genuine joy when you see them. 